Hi students, hope all are fine. Welcome to the world of computer. Today we are going to learn about input devices. Let's see what are input devices. A computer will accept data and instructions through input devices. Data can be of any form that is numbers, text, sound or graphics. These are input into the computer through these input devices. One of the examples for input devices keyboard. All of you might have seen keyboard. It is a main input device for computers. A standard keyboard has 104 keys which are alphanumeric keys that is from capital letter A to Z, small letter A to Z and the numbers 0 to 9. Next one is control keys. These keys which when pressed with another key performs a special operation that is if we are inputting control plus C it will copy any selected text or object. Next one is about function key. It is from the keys F1 to F12. Next one is special keys. These keys include caps lock, backspace, spacebar, arrow keys, home and end keys. Next one is about punctuation keys. It is used for adding punctuations like comma, hyphen, semicolon and question mark. Next the input device is mouse. It is a pointing device to point, click and drag and drop the data into a computer. It controls the movement of the pointer on the screen. It is used to move and select icons, files and folders on the computer. It can also be used to draw pictures. Next input device is scanner. It is a device that helps to input printed pictures and text into the computer by reading them. Different types of scanners are available. The first one is handheld scanner. It is a type of scanner that is held in hand and roll over a flat image or document. It is used to scan documents into their digital forms. Next one is flatbed scanner. It's a type of scanner that uses a flat glass surface for scanning documents. It looks like a photostat machine. Next one is sheet fed scanner. It is a type of scanner that allows multiple papers to be scanned at a time. In the scanner, the stack of papers is kept on top and the scanner automatically scans the pages one by one. It is widely used in offices to scan documents. Next one is webcam. It is a short form for web camera. It is a digital video camera that is connected to a computer. It helps to put the image into the computer when you are connected to the internet. Next one is graphic tablet. It allows to directly draw on a computer screen. It consists of a flat surface upon which we can draw with an attached stylus which looks like a pen. Next input device is joystick. It is a pointing device 
which is used to control the movement of a pointer on the computer screen. It is mostly used device to play games on the computer. Next one is microphone. It is an input device that is used to record voice, music and sound into the computer system. Next is touch screen. A touch screen is a screen that is sensitive to touch. We can interact with a computer by touching areas on the screen. Tablets, smartphones, ATMs have touch screen in them. Thanks for watching. Take care all of you. Bye.